girl dreams of her wedding day, but this lavish affair is anything but the traditional American festivity. There's two major parts, is the decor and the food. Uh, the decor is very colorful, the lighting, the colors. But there are few resources in the DFW area. That's how IndianWeddingsOnline.com was started and why gown designer Prashi Shah specializes in South Asian weddings. In the market of Indian weddings, there wasn't one website where brides and vendors could actually connect. The dress for an American wedding is like the biggest part of it. Is it the same for an Indian wedding? Absolutely. I think um, the bridal costumes are a huge part of the wedding ceremony. And unlike white, red and other vibrant hues are used to celebrate the many events leading up to the big day. How many dresses would a bride wear? Starting with the engagement, at least five. Like this peach dress, which is typical for the henna ceremony. This is henna, but it's an actual tradition that is done during the ceremony. Yes, and it takes um, several hours, and you usually get, you'll see like the entire hand is done up, usually till about here. And then there is the ceremony, where the most extravagant and vibrant outfits are chosen for both bride and groom. We have a very traditional wedding outfit here, and this is called the wedding langa. The bride is brought in on a dolly, which begins the bridal procession. Uh, the mandap that we're sitting in front of usually has four pillars, uh, religion, wealth, desire, and salvation. Depending on religion, Muslim, Christian, or Hindu, the ceremony varies. The Hindu ones are a little bit more, uh, the whole village is there. So it could be anywhere from 500 to 1,000 people. But one thing is the same. Indian weddings steeped in history, tradition, and beauty are sure to be a great party. Roni Proder, The 33 News.